Hi all, welcome to Zibu School Market Opening Report and hope you enjoyed your uh, long weekend. Okay, so long weekend in the sense uh, Friday I did not uh, able to do the video. So for me it's a long weekend uh, in interacting with you. So looking at where the market is exactly. So from Friday's close seems to be like market is up. So <laughs> where 15,890. So for the day 190 point uh, up in the nifty. Bank nifty is almost 300 plus. So trading around 950 zone. So 33, 950 zone. Only important thing is VIX. Again, uh, generally VIX used to cool off when this kind of bullish thing is happening. Right now, slightly VIX is going up. See, uh, to be frank, last two weeks what is happening in the market and what is reflecting in the VIX is uh, not even matching because the kind of volatility which you are seeing for the <coughs> weekly options are day-to-day uh, -day basis from intraday high to intraday swing low. So this is not even uh, reflecting the real scenario. So seems to be like, to be frank, it seems to be like 35 plus. Okay, so whatever has happened for the last one or two weeks, so that volatility is corresponds to almost like VIX 35. But if you look at uh, VIX calculation, it is basically done by the monthly contracts. Okay, so maybe that could be the reason why this is not reflecting in uh, uh, the current scenario and maybe see we do not want to dig deeper into those details so from now on what is the case so you remember like last time uh, when i said uh, max to max it can give throwback off so earlier we had a level of 15 700 to 750 so i said above this maximum 15 950 to 16 so you can uh, mention as uh, you can take it as a round number of 16 50 okay so this is a important resistance zone okay so even now we were there like 15 400 to 350 level again 1500 to 15 200 level if you remember last entire week i was trading only between these three levels and even i said once this level is taken out then i might be looking for this level to short because why to short structurally market is in uh, sell on rise so if you look at uh, so it is something like higher okay again it is making lower high again making lower high so formation is something like this okay so what i'm feeling is maybe 1600 is the key level okay you can you can note down this level 1600 to 150 is the key level so unless and until that level is taken out on a daily basis i will be looking for every opportunity to sell on this rise only thing is when to sell is the key because uh, I hear, I rem do, do you remember like we were long because I want the same stock I was saying. So it was a farming in a channel. So around this level I said there could be a bounce. Okay. So as expected the bounce were coming even uh, during the <clears throat> last week I sold under around this zone and even I said I am going to book around this zone because looking at the structure there might be a possibility from here it could be a bounce. Okay. So, how you can do all these things is by simple price action and most probably like you can assume that simple uh, following the price structure. Okay, that is what I am trying to do. So, what I am ex uh, expecting from next 2 to 3 days view. Okay. So, this week is the monthly expiry. Okay, this weekly expiry is going to be the monthly expiry for the June. So, uh, remember there will be uh, no shortage of volatility okay so even uh, the entire month is volatile then that means uh, this month could be much more or this week should be like much more volatile so keep that in mind uh, when framing your strategies or you want to take any trades okay so i my side is going to be positioned myself for the sell on rise but what is a sell on rise but except that you make sure that this level you need to always keep it in mind so unless and until this is taken out i will be thinking only about sell so i may not be trading in the current week so you can initiate uh, either in the next week or in the july series so my view is simply somewhere like this so <coughs> i expect market to correct okay i don't want to uh, expect to break this level okay so i don't expect this to break level but 300 to 400 point correction i am expecting as a price reversal okay so if you look at this way so market will again form a uptrending slight channel so i expect around this channel so this is the place 15 950 to 16000 is the place where it could possibly form a top okay and then might be dipping towards what is my expectation is first is this level okay and max so i don't expect if this bullishness is going to be there in the price structure then this should not break once this is breaking then obviously this will also break okay so this level is the Key level 
for me to go short okay so even if i go here i might be booking all my shorts here because beyond that uh, i don't see any uh, weakness in the market we need to see how the data front is. so because on friday uh, there is not much data i might probably this is the last week and moreover looking at last two weeks uh, uh, option premium behavior like people who are not even uh, touching so that could be the reason but to be frank uh, again so next two to three days view this is my view uh, not exactly today but you cannot take it as today itself what i expect is somewhere around this zone i have already taken as soon as the market opened and uh, trading around this 19 uh, 15 920 zone so i started <coughs> my strategies okay because i generally don't look at exact entries because i trade in strategies i enter in a staggered manner and occult when i am exiting i also exit in a staggered manner so around this place i expect a resistance so morning as soon as it's capped up and that's a uh, within 30 to 40 minutes i started initiating position only thing is when market goes to this level then i might be adding little more and more positions because that is the cushion of uh, me trading in strategies okay so i, I don't trade in uh, the either the direct future or something like that i don't do uh, naked buying naked selling so generally i do strategies different type of strategies so what i expect is so from here i sense some pressure going to build in the market and maybe uh, end of the day if the market is uh, uh, like at the end of the day if you analyze data we may get whether this expectation is correct or not what i'm saying is i'm only expecting because the price is not showing any pressure what i sense is as a structure as a structure i expect pressure to be built in this zone and once the option data shows the confirmation then uh, i can add little more portion so this is what my view is for next to two to three days so 15 650 to 600 is the key level i'll be looking for sell on rise opportunities only but provided i am not going for bigger targets i am going for hardly 300 to 450 points in bank nifty because i don't expect this to break uh, to be frank but once uh, when the pressure is coming in the market and then data is getting built it towards it then i because why the reason because i expect uh, this to go in this channel at max to max it can correct like this and then form a new leg okay this is what my expectation is and maybe we will see how this is going to be done and again uh, so in case of bank nifty i expect 34 300 to 34 600 is the key level okay so once this level is taken out uh, so then i might be thinking about uh, going long at back to me otherwise again the structure is almost almost similar okay so not exactly point to point but only thing is the way the higher eyes and the lower eyes are forming so seems to be like exactly similar and that is the next two to three days view from my side again sell on rise only but this is only structurally i'm expecting pressure but maybe during the end of the day or mid of the day once option data confirms then we may think about adding my portions okay so hope this view will be like helpful to you and please do join us for the summary of the day at the post market report and hope you enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching